Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to review Taylor and McLaurin series. If we have a power series representation for the function f of x about x equals a, the Taylor series for f of x about x equals a is fx is equal to the sum of n equals 0 to infinity of f n of a divided by n factorial times x minus a raised to the n. Now this term right here is just the derivatives of this function f of x. So the general terms uh, will come out as f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a plus f double prime of a divided by 2 factorial times x minus a raised to the 2 squared and so on. So that's the general formula of a, of a Taylor series about x equals a. So what if we have a Taylor series about x equals 0? Well, in that case, we have a, a Taylor series, but it's more, it's, it's more commonly referred to as the Maclaurin series. And that general formula is f of x is equal to the sum of n equals 0 to infinity of f n of 0 divided by n factorial x raised to the n. And now the general terms for that for Maclaurin series is f of 0 plus f prime of 0 plus f double prime of 0 divided by 2 factorial x squared and so on. So that's the general formula which is a Taylor series but it's more commonly known as the Maclaurin series because it's a function about x equals 0. So let's look at an example of how if we are given a certain function on the exam and asked to convert it into its Taylor series, how we would go about doing that. So let's say we're given the function fx is equal to e raised to the x. And we're asked to find the, the Taylor series about x equals 0. Now right off the bat we can uh, notice that this is a Taylor series about x equals 0. So it's actually going to be a Maclaurin series. So let's write down our general formula of what we're looking for. We're looking for the, the Maclaurin series which is defined by uh, the sum of n to infinity of f n of 0 divided by n factorial x raised to the n. So all we need to do here is define this this term right here, a general term for the derivatives of the function. So the first thing we need to do is find the derivatives. Let's go and do that. f of x is equal to e sub x, and we know f prime of x is equal to e sub x as well, and f double prime of x is equal to e sub x. So we know all the derivatives there, and we can keep going on. It's, it's always going to be e sub x. So next thing we need to do is find f of to the 0, depending on the derivative. So f of 0 is equal to e to the 0, which is 1. Now f prime of 0 is equal to, again, e to the 0 times 1. f double prime of 0 is equal to e to the 0 equals 1, and so on. So we can really quickly determine that f, the general, fn of 0 is going to be equal to 1. So now all we need to do is plug that information into our general formula right here. And we find that Taylor series, or Maclaurin series in this case, of f of x is equal to e sub x is equal to the sum of n equals 0 to infinity of 1 divided by n factorial x to the n. So that is our general Maclaurin series representation of the function e to the x. 
So let's take a look at a function that isn't about x equals 0. Let's find the Taylor series of the function f of x is equal to e to the negative x. And let's find that about x equals negative 4. So we need to find the general formula for f of n to the negative 4. That's, that's our key. That's our goal here. We need to find that general formula. So the first thing is first is we need to find all the derivatives. So f of x is equal to e to the negative x. f of prime of x is equal to negative 1 e to the minus x. f double prime of x is equal to negative 1 squared e to the negative x and f triple prime of x and we can keep going on and finding as much as we need but we're going to already derive a general uh, formula from just taking the first couple derivatives so uh, f triple prime of x is negative 1 to the third e to the negative x so now let's plug in negative 4 to determine that value because that's the general formula we're looking for. We're not looking for the general formula about x. We're finding it about negative 4. So f of x again is going to be e to the fourth. f prime of x is going to be negative 1 e to the 4. f double prime of x, sorry, this, these are all negative 4s. I was saying x, but this is f prime of negative 4, f prime of negative 4, f double prime of negative 4 is equal to negative 1 squared e to the fourth, and f triple prime of negative 4 is equal to negative 1 to the third e to the fourth. So now we can just look at this and derive our general formula. We see that fn of negative 4 is going to be equal to negative 1 raised to the n e to the fourth. So this is, this is what we were looking for to plug into our general equation of a Taylor series. So let's write down that general equation. f of x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of f n, in this case negative 4, divided by n factorial times x minus a raised to the n. So now we can just plug in our information because we know a is going to be equal to negative 4. And we know that our general formula, fn of negative 4, is equal to negative 1 raised to the n e to the 4. So all we need to do is uh, plug that information in and we find that f of x, or the Taylor series of f of x is equal to e to the negative x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 raised to the n of e to the fourth times e to the fourth divided by n factorial x plus 4 raised to the n. So this is our general formula for the Taylor series that represents the function e to the negative x. All right, so that's it. That's all we got for uh, Taylor and Maclaurin series. I hope that review uh, was fruitful for you and that you uh, got something from it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and visit my site at engineerintrainingexam.com and shoot me some feedback or some suggestions on what you would like to see on the site. Uh, my aim and my focus is to provide for you guys to kind of smooth the way in preparing for this exam because I know how difficult it can be. And if I can help just one of you guys, I would be uh, definitely happy about that. So until then, uh, until we talk again, uh, take care. Bye.